Hello and welcome to the second part of this tutorial on how to create the scene with very few polygons with easy shapes and in this second part we'll focus on the boat that you already see so we will deactivate everything we don't need to see just the boat it's all in groups and if we actually look at the boat it is a very simple shape let's just have a look at this one um, starting with the cube then doing a loop cut in the middle using the mirror modifier and then you can not just need to shape one side have a few loop cuts in there any way you like shape it not very hard most of the stuff to have it look like a boat is then done with the materials and now let's just look at the material the most important material at the one outside and of course it's principled shader not much done with that the important thing is the color i uv unwrapped it before that now there's no different methods that it can use not going to go into uv unwrapping there's a lot of tutorials on that one important is to use a brick texture and input it here into the base color and then these are the basic settings that i used there's a lot of different things you can use but the important thing is that you have a lot of control over it so if you want them smaller or bigger you can do it any way you like important is that it kind of matches with your mesh so it looks most realistic the points where you want it to be it has to be here and you can of course change the colors i used the same one for the thing up here the same basic brick texture just changed some of the colors and some of the sizes and yeah the important thing is then the mortar size if you see oh that's very much just have it a little bit i think if i press the shift button then it goes a little less you can do it as much as you want so you have a lot of control without changing many things and i would also use a bump map and connect the factor to the height and the normal to the normal also very simple and you have this nice little 3d effect now for me i would say the mortar size is a little too big i would make it a little smaller but that's up to anybody which way they want it and then you basically have the shape here i then created this shape up there which is also just yeah, a lot of um, basically um, modeling extruding cubes and using the mirror modifier and also the bevel modifier which i used here just to have the edges a little nicer even here with the bevel modifier you can change it any way you like whether you want it sharp or really round works anyway so this is just basic modeling and let's see at some very nice tricks that you can use because modeling like the rope here the rigging that would be just a pain to do it by hand and it's also not very effective and will take a lot of calculating time so the nice thing and let's now put this away we don't need it right now let's focus on here on the rigging on those ropes it is basically a mesh nothing else so you can just put in a plane it's up here or down here rotate it rotate it like this make it a little bigger make it even a little bigger in this direction um, change this down here make this a little longer so this is basically the shape that I have then I inserted some loop cuts you can insert as many as you want fortunately this is something that you have to decide first and this is not easy to change afterwards but as you see it's very simple to get this shape I'll delete it for now and I'll show you what I did with this one you need basically two modifiers I mean one modifier you absolutely need and that's the wireframe and that one already gives you a nice result if you take this have the right settings you can of course make it bigger or less big which is just nice if you look at it very closely it doesn't look that good maybe but rather from the distance it looks nice i'll show you how to make a nice rope later but this is more for the distance it works it's 
absolutely all right, especially for this kind of um, and theme that we're going for. And the bevel modifier is always helpful, and I think it's especially helpful here if you use that one as well. You can also change that, and then from the distance, let's keep the shift key pressed, it looks also nice. As I said, not 100% realistic, but for what we're going at, perfect, no problem, works with that. Um, so that's really absolutely all there is to this shape. Very fast and very much control. If you say it's a little too big, it's a little too small, you can change it afterwards very easily. Same thing is true for the sail, which is also just let's activate this again, just a very easy mesh, put away a little bit in this direction and one modifier that you really need and that's a displacement modifier. Once you have this displacement modifier, you have to have some basic settings, the direction, the group, and the important thing is, if you look at this group, only activated for a certain kind of mesh. So I just used all those meshes, I um, gave them, assigned them to a group, and the modifier just changes those um, vertices, and the important thing is also because you want it going in the wind and maybe you still remember this one from the first tutorial this empty that I created to have the waves of the ocean and uh, yeah just very simple you use the same one for here you apply this displacement modifier to this empty this is where it looks at to ha see how much it is displaced it should actually even work displacement mode here you have it and that gives you enough of that effect that you need. So it's very simple, not very much uh, consuming for the computer to calculate it, and you got the basic setup, setup for your boat. We'll look at the whole thing a little bit more closely than in the third part.